So in this lesson, Tom, we talk about how an IT support agent interacts with other parts of the support team when the agent is trying to develop a solution to a customer problem. Now this usually involves one of three scenarios. First, a support agent may resolve a case on his or her own, although in this case the agent usually finds the need to collaborate with others for advice or for help in completing a task. And then if a support agent sees that a case has been misrouted, he or she may transfer the case to someone else for resolution. And finally, if the agent can't resolve the case, he or she may escalate it to the escalation team for resolution. So in all three instances, there's some type of collaboration that takes place between the support agent and other members of the support team. Do you have any advice for beginning IT support agents that will help them when collaborating with others in trying to troubleshoot a problem? Yes, I can't stress the importance of building a network enough. Um, you know, uh, you have to start somewhere. Um, so if you engage um, another team and you find a really good resource, um, you, you need to make sure to, um, you know, th formally thank them and, and maintain, um, you know, that relationship. Because if you can um, send them an instant message and ask them a quick question or walk over to their desk versus going through the process of, of formally cutting a collaboration task and then, and then waiting for that, you know, to get um, assigned ownership of, that, that can just take time. If, if you can circumvent that by just, you know, um, sending an IM or walking over, um, that absolutely um, saves a lot of time, which all trickles down to customer satisfaction. Now, the second part um, is if it's a misroute. Now, many times a case will come in and we joke that it's not, it's not even a sentence. It's, it doesn't have a capital at the beginning. It doesn't have a period at the end. It's just, it's just a phrase and it doesn't really make much sense. So what you need to do is you need to call that customer and e even if you, you assume that it's not your product, you still have to scope it. You call the customer and you collect details about it as much as you possibly can until you, you can properly scope it. And then what you will do is you assure that um, customer that you will get them to the right resource as soon as possible. And that's also re really reassuring. Now, with the third part is, um, you know, having to engage like an escalation resource. Um, many times that case could be a month old and have a lot of information in it. And, you know, I've, I've had cases where there's 150 email communications and, I mean, if you were to print everything out in the case notes, you could make a small book. So what you need to do to set uh, an escalation resource up for success is you need to create a transfer log, which where are we at right now? Um, what, what, what have we done and what do you think the next steps are? So, yep, um, building a network, um, making sure that when you are moving a case to the right team, you've, you've done your due diligence and you've identified that they are the right team and this is why and the third part is um, if you do need to um, engage you know, an escalation resource, make sure you set them up um, for success.